everybody it's me again so today I'm going to make these special videos for you guys is about how to use or how to learn to use your sewing machine many of you guys want to know how sewing with a sewing machine and everything so this is going to be my first um, class for you guys so you guys um, learn how to use your sewing machine but before we start with that let me show you these small video how you can win a brand new sewing machine here on my channel the first step is going to be to subscribe to my channel so you just go here and click here to subscribe okay when you are right now on my website this is my page um, for subscribe to my page, you're going all the way to the bottom of the page. At the bottom of the page, you will have my contact here and also you will have a subscribe area. You're going to put here your email so that way you can participate on the give it away for the sewing machine. So this is the way that you should subscribe. This step number three is just follow me on social media. My user is Gabby underscore Winkoff. I do have Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. And welcome back. So uh, the first thing that you guys want to do is going to be um, grab some paper, or at least six um, paper, like eight by 11 and some marker and ruler so you're going to make some simple straight lines and put number on the bottom so that way you know exactly what you're doing so it's going to be six different exercises that we're going to do here and each one i will explain to you okay the first one is going to be like this you're going to make at least three lines straight and then put number one at the bottom. The second paper you're going to make again, uh, you're going to make again the three lines, but every two inches and a half, you're going to make like a small dash or line this way. And this is going to be your paper number two. Your paper number three is going to do, it's going to be straight lines you're gonna make around seven eight different straight line and this is going to be um, used in regular machine what I mean regular machines um, I mean whole machines you're not going to do this uh, number three in an industrial machine you're gonna only you only going to use that in whole machine number four you're going to make this type of graphic which is like a um labyrinth i think it is i'll put the name on the bottom but something like this number four number five is going to be a mixed situation you're going to make like two triangle in the center you're going to make a curve line like this and last but not least you're going to make something like this that's number six it's gonna be like SRL or something like that. You're gonna make this one. And those are the six different practice that we're going to do. So we're gonna start um, with the practice. But before that, I'm gonna show you a couple things that you have to really um, keep in mind. Um, number one, when you get any sewing machine, there's two parts that you always have to um, immediately do. Um, first is testing the machine, meaning plug, make sure that it's come up, turn on the machine, make sure that it's okay. And then the second thing, normally you have warranty on it. There's a paper, you fill out the paper and send it. That is your, or register. Sometimes they give you the option to register your sewing machine. You're always going to do that because that's your safety. If something happened to the machine, you do have a warranty to respond it for you. Um, then the next thing is normally the sewing machine came with papers inside 
do not trash away those paper inside and even the box try to keep it at least for a month or two months for something if anything happened you can send it back to the store and they can replace it for something else and on those papers normally you're gonna have like two manuals like a book um, and they normally will be like English Spanish French something like that but there is a paper extra is like a pamphlet that one have the basic basic information about your machine that is straight up to points it tell you um, what is the thread area all the small parts of of the machines the wheel the foot the needle um, the press a foot all that is there read it at least that information first and then slowly start reading the whole information more information that you know about your machine is going to be better for you okay so let's start with the practice okay so right now we have my sewing machine which is the brother xr3240 so normally when you get your brand new sewing machine you're going to make sure that you know at least the basics um of the sewing machine for example the thread area when you're gonna put the thread on the top uh, the bobbin area and this one is up in here um, where is the needle how to tie up the needle the foot the level foot um, the foot itself the wheel some machines have speed um, up in here um, up and down the needle the back stitch so you need to know at least the basic that's the reason you have to read at least the reference guide so that way you know um, the basic of the machine normally the machine already came with a tension setup but use your reference guide if you need to change that also learn where to turn on the machine how to connect the pedal all that information is at least in your reference guide okay so the first one that we're going to start is going to be with the practice number one so i'm going to put the paper here and then um, get you close but before we start on everything you have to remove your thread here from the um, top area and from the bobbing this practice is done without thread okay so let's turn the machine like this i'm going to turn off the machine ready i'm going to put the paper you're normally going to try to put the paper uh, the line under the needle so you have to check that i'm going to lift my foot put down the foot I want to get you close to me so you guys can see I'm going to use the speed I'm going to put very very slow so you guys can see and then slowly I'm going to press my pedal okay before I do have the option to put down my needle so I'm going to do it here if you don't have that option what you can do is use the wheel on the side and put down the needle okay so slowly you're going to press the pedal and giving power to the machine so the machine can run the idea of this practice especially this one is that you at least learn how to control the machine to go straight nothing more nothing less just you have the line as reference so this practice is for that so now i'm going to speed up my machine go a little bit faster so you can see just put your finger around do not push just let the machine push the paper itself keep it in mind the machine does have dog feet up in here i don't know if you guys can see it i'll show you there's dog feet up in here so the machine normally pull the paper or the fabric itself 
okay so we do the first one I don't know if you guys can see right now here so what you're going to do after you do the, uh, after you do this you're going to finish the other two okay just take your time this is not about measuring your um, how accurate you are this is basically guidelines that you're supposed to be doing don't do it perfect if you cannot just try your best so now we're going to start with number two so this is the paper number two paper number two is very similar to paper number one but the difference is every single time that we reach this line this dash here we're going to backstitch we need the backstitch all the seams allowance when we are sewing so that way you close that or tie up that so it will not get um unravel so you keep it everything together okay so we're going to start the same way I'm going to lift up my needle put my feet down I'm going to put my needle down change this speed to a slow so that way you guys can see it and I'm going to get you guys close to me so you guys can see it so every time that we reach this area I'm going to back stitch which in my machine is up in here show you right now it's up in here some of you guys may have the back stitch a button up in here or some other way like a pull thing so normally you will have something here or something here okay so let me get you close so you guys can see press slow the pedal let the machine run Leave in the machine run. And then back stitch. As you can see the machine's going back. And then when you release, go up. Go forward. Sorry. So we're going to do the same thing as we did with the straight stitch. But when we see those ones, we're going to do back stitch. We are close, we're getting there. One, two, and back stitch. Now I'm going to speed up the machine. And that's it. We're gonna lift the foot. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the end result. So after this one, you're going to finish the other two. It's very important that you guys keep in doing the practice and that way you start losing the fear of the machine or something happens to the machine so you will understand how your machines work. The practice number three is a little bit different. Practice number three, we're going to use a zigzag. Zigzag is normally going to use that on the seam allowance. So that way, after you sew in the whole seam allowance, the fabric that is out, the, the fabric that is extra inside your garment, you will do that zigzag all the way. So that way, the fabric will unravel that easy, especially when you start using your garment or whatever you made. So, and this time, I use this, we have more, um, um lines and normally what you want is a zigzag hit side size side size meaning you don't want the zigzag hit the the line you want the sick on you want that the zigzag the hit the hit the line on the side i'm sorry you want to be here 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 not on the line so normally um every machine is different so you have to change the setting and sometimes you have to change the foot itself these machines it's not like that so I'm just going to change to number five, which is a zigzag in my machine. I'm going to lift the foot because normally you need to jump a little bit. I'm going to put the paper under in the middle. Press down the foot, press the foot, put the needle down. I'm going to put it in slow motion so you guys can see that and get you close show you 
think up there you guys can see. So let's do it slowly. As you can see, the machine's going to be jumping one side to the other side. That's the way the machine is, should be doing that. Your goal is keep the, the needle hitting the size. No, you don't want the machine hit the black line. You want the machine hit the size, poking every single side. Now I'm going to speed up so you guys can see it faster. You don't have to push the paper or the fabric. You just have to leave the machine doing their own job. Remind, keep it in mind the machine has some dot feet on the bottom and that normally push everything. You just want to make sure that the machine is hitting the correct size. Now we're going to sit. Now as you can see the machine hit both sides, not the um, black line. Number four is about pivot. So normally when you are uh, sewing there will be area that will be like corners and that you have to lift your, your foot up but you have to leave the needle down and move the fabric or move whatever you're sewing and then start um, sewing straight this is about that okay this is about pivot pivot the fabric or sewing corners so this is the practice about that this is something that you're going to do a lot so let's start the first thing we're going to do is put the fabric and um, put the paper from the start line. So we want that this machine hit the line. So we're going to do that and then put it down and get you close so you guys can see. I'm going to put slow. I'm sorry, I didn't change the. Okay, let me put in once again, and then go, putting a little bit faster. It's basically straight stitches, but in the corner, you will do what I'm going to show you right now. When you get into the corner, You're going to lift your foot, turn the paper to the next line, put the foot down, and go straight in. Let me show you one more time. Lift the foot, turn the paper, put the press of foot down, and continue. So this is the idea about this. You're going to do this all the way around the paper, okay? Okay, number five is a little bit different. Number five is a combination. This is optional if you want to do it, um, but some people like to do it, so I will let you guys, if you want to do this one, is basically do a curve and do um, a triangle so I will let you guys do it if you guys want to do it um, I will recommend you to do it because it's very easy and you already have an idea what you have done before so you know let's, let's do it let's do it so the guys can see it so the idea is your sewing is kind of curved so you want to be able to um, use your hands slowly and do the motion let me put down the needle and we're going to put slow and doing this way 
if you don't have the option to change the speed in your machine try to press the pedal very gentle very softly try if you want use some socks don't use your um, sneakers or anything about the nature try to use some socks so because because sometimes when you are not wearing shoes you can kind of feel um, the, ma the machine better at the beginning so you can try to do that so basically I'm slowly gently moving the needle to the line and just softly gently move your fingers pushing the paper to the air that you want so the needle keep on heating uh, the correct spot and then keep on doing that this kind of line you will sew in that a lot when you're doing some kind of princess theme you will see that very often that you have to do that kind of work so basically this is what we have done the other one is just basically corners so you guys can do it that last but not least is a number six number six is basically is a spiral uh, this one it gonna take time to everybody to do it because it's, it's so many turns um but keep it in mind the idea of this video is that you learn and that you lose the fear of your machine that you start learning with it and you start understanding your machine okay so we're gonna start to doing this one you're gonna put it under put the needle down and slowly we're going to move in the paper so the machine can do the stitch correctly. All this is about the fingers, how you move the fingers in the paper or the fabric. And keep in mind always your safety is first. So try to keep your fingers away from the needle area all this area and if you ever put your hands very close remove your foot from the pedal always do that always do that and then go back and keep at least two inches or something like that distance from that so yes so Basically, this is all. So thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I can do more of this if you guys want. So thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.